Hello men and brethren. Hey, welcome back to the shop. I was inspired by that old Tony to buy me a pair of chai or a set of chai calm uh, gear cutters. These are module one. I actually did get the complete set of them. I bought them from a US buyer or a US reseller on eBay. Um, I don't know if they opened up the box and made sure that they're all there or not, but I did get the complete set and they do feel reasonably sharp. Got really nice grease paper on them. Uh, like I said, they're module one 20 degree pressure angle gear cutters. Now, I am currently waiting on my dividing head, so in the meanwhile, glad you cut it out. In the meanwhile, I need to make an arbor of sorts to turn this with. So what I've got in mind here, here a while back I made some uh, uh, tap drivers or something, but while I had my lathe set up to uh, make these tapers, I, uh, I made some extra blanks. So what I've got in mind here, I've got some aluminum slugs left over from a, a previous project. Uh, this is three quarter uh, material, 19 millimeters. So what I aim to do is take this three quarter stock and bore me a hole through an aluminum slug, uh, probably a few 16, you know, uh, uh, what a size or two whatever drill bit size I've got a size or two smaller than three quarters of an inch and I will measure that very precisely figure out what size it is and then I will turn this shaft to where I get a press fit on from my aluminum onto the steel shaft and I'll probably leave a little shoulder right here so that I have a register and I've, of course, when I beat all of this together, it won't be press fit, it'll be a beat fit. When I beat her all together, I'll smear it up with some Loctite or something where it don't come back apart. But I will leave a little shoulder here if I can remember to. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get this in the lathe and drill it and tap it for a uh, draw bar. And then once I get a draw bar in here, then I can put the Morris taper two into a Morris Taper three adapter. I guess that's a two. Yeah, that's a two. But I'll put it in the adapter and stick this straight in the head of, or in the, uh, the spindle of my lathe. And that way I'm gonna be running pretty true out here and then I'll do the rest of my work. But, uh, so first, first things first, gonna drill and tap for that. And my second operation, is going to be to face both sides of this off and bore a couple steps underneath the three quarter. Once I get this board, then we'll go back over here and uh, turn this down to match whatever hole size I end up with. So we'll get things rearranged here and get started. So off camera there, I drilled and tapped the end of that for my 3816 draw bar without breaking anything or drawing blood. So better than a lot of times. So the next thing I'm gonna do is switch over and put my, oh, I guess probably do it on three jaw chuck, put my three jaw chuck on here and uh, we'll get ready and turn one of the aluminum bushings and get it ready to beat on there. So be back in a little bit. All right, so I've got me uh, stuck an eighth inch pilot in there or an eighth inch spotter bit in there and then a quarter inch bit in there. So I've got me an 11 sixteenths. It looks like it's almost got a pretty good grind on it. Let's see what she does. That ain't too bad. Well, my grind is kind of off, but it's it's cutting. Woo. 
That'll make the dogs howl and the roosters crow, won't it, buddy? Yeah, Dad. Oh, I popped a fuse. Goodness sakes. Right. I didn't. I was going too fast, got too greedy. Yeah. The dogs, the neighbor dog is hollering. You hear him? <laughs> Did the rooster really crow? No, the rooster didn't crow, but it made the dog howl. Oh, I left the camera running. Okay, we're back in action. What? That's why you can like the dog how more. Yep. I hit the drilled through it and hit the jaws. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. That's very dangerous, Dad. I'm a fairly dangerous man. No, you're not. Yeah. You haven't killed anybody yet. <laughs> not today, anyway. <laughs> you only kill squirrels. Well, depending on which side of the hole you measure, we come out between 688 and 690. So, worked out, we got us a hole through the middle. Well, next step is going to be get the chuck off, get the draw bar out, and get our workpiece mounted up in the spindle on a draw bar. So here's my three to two adapter. Here's our workpiece with some threads cut in the end of it. And here's my homemade cobbled together drawbar that I made for temporary. And you know the old saying, it's only temporary until it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to face this off and turn this down and I'm going to quit, hopefully, at about a, a little bit over 11 sixteenths to where I've got a really nice beat it together with a big hammer fit on that. But I think I'm going to cut the video off right here because it's supper time. Mama just told me it was time to go in and eat. So we're going to quit right, right now, quit while we're ahead. Y'all drive safe, watch for deer.